Today we're gonna see five digital tools to take your lyrics writing to the next level and make it less of a headache. By the way, I'm Vadusher and I'm the best expert in lyrics in the entire world and maybe even on YouTube. Please do stick around till the end of the video because I have two questions to ask you and I'll do that in the end of the video. <laughs> For some reason people tend to look down on digital tools like it's not true art or like it's cheating or something. But it's very much like doing calculations in your head instead of using a calculator or a spreadsheet like a normal person. Let genius poets waste their time, we won't. Life is short. The faster the way from your ideas to your actual lyrics, better. And the first tool is associations online, all right? Go and associations. <laughs> associations online is the first tool. Word associations online, like this one. You see a mind map, that's how you streamline your process of songwriting. You have an idea, you want to write a song about a, a bird. How about a bird? Let the song be about a bird. Let's go here and say bird, which is where we start from. And just sitting there staring at the bird gives you nothing. You need to associate from there. So like bird has wings, bird has a beak, a bird has eyes and legs. That's well, pause. What's the name for bird's limbs? So you associate from there. Flight, uh, sky, like eggs and nests and and pigeons are symbols of peace and all of these associations come around when you think bird but it took so much mental effort but if we use online association tools first we see birds this one's fancy <laughs> we do see actual birds not only we see birds we have associations here amphibian how about that never would have thought of that reptile as opposed to birds which birds are very close to reptiles because birds are technically dinosaurs. So uh, there's a bunch of bird names, which I have no idea what they are. Woodpecker, deer, wow, you get the idea. Then comes another problem. It's not really convenient to use text editors for associations. You could add nest and wings and fly and sky and a beak, pigeon, eggs. And we add some of these, nature, emu, amphibian, tit. <laughs> Organism, you can go on forever. Ocean, flying, mate, flock, there's eagle. But it's not very easy to see all these. So what we do is use mind mapping tools. You can do that on paper, but man, nah, it's 2022. Who uses paper these days? Just go ahead, copy these, you go to your mind mapping tool, and I use XMind, which is free to use. You, you, there's a paid version, but I use the free one. It's totally enough for me. You add these here, and it's kind of easier to see what bird the central top is all about and one more thing it allows you to do is to associate further go from level one associations which these are to level two and further fly gives us an airplane an insect which a fly is wind space go back and use your associations tool there's a bunch of more associations and you go egg you go omelet this is a mind mapping app it's something you do to expand your ideas to map them and keep track of them because if you use your text editor it's kind of not that easy to track them but if you go mind map and not on paper but in the computer you can navigate you can zoom in and out you can store this you can copy these and uh, paste them here in a structure like this see there's a bunch of ways you can use it and it streamlines your workflow so i use this all the time next tool is actually using google and wikipedia so i'm stuck here with birds i go well bird and i see what birds are and i go bird wiki and i wiki I go bird and I see there's a bunch of bird related information there bird the word have you heard about the bird evolution sexual selection of birds turtles lizards crocodiles so birds and crocodiles are both descendants of dinosaurs technically birds are dinosaurs my idea is birds are dinosaurs and dinosaurs were dumb and we go back to birds pigeons are dumb they're so so dumb also intellect there's a punchline there your like a bird creating an expectation that somebody is as beautiful as graceful as a bird but in terms of intellect that's a setup and a punchline very short very concise let's copy this and stick with this so we don't need all this now because we have a separate tool for that we have a lot of empty room to paste our idea let's develop on this idea what's the dumbest bird we can google what is the most stupid bird kakapoo is the dumbest bird <laughs> It does look like it is. Sorry. Once you got your mind map of associations, you have your ideas milked from those associations. You can go ahead and rhyme these 
Let's rhyme intellect. Intellect, uh, intersect, which is a poor rhyme. <laughs> so you're like a bird in terms of intellect. Let these be the two finishing lines in our little improvised verse. The next tool is finding rhymes online. You don't have to be a rhyme dictionary. You can use a rhyme dictionary. So go rhymes online. That's all you need. You go to rhyme zone, whatever intellect search checked flecked respect wrecked necked long necked defect expect resurrect vivisect <laughs> landscape architect we have a bunch of rhyming words but i don't like these so the final tool tool number five is synonym dictionaries so you go synonyms online you go here and intellect right ability acumen genius intelligence intuition there's brains i, I like brains i like shorter words mentally wits wits is also a good rhyming word the, the closer the stress in the word is to the end of the word the easier it is to rhyme that's why intellect in which the stress is way back here is harder to rhyme than wits because wits rhymes with nearly anything psych thinker smarts there's antonyms which you also could use all right i like brains and wits brain size eyes rhymes with size we could use the word eyes to deceive the listener you're like a bird but it is not the eyes it's the brain size you're like a bird but it's not the eyes mm -hmm. it's the brain size let's go back to the rhyming portion of it and go bird blurred third heard it's not the wings i heard i heard it's the brain size i heard there you go we just used five online tools to create a piece let us recap tool number one is finding online associations tool number Number two is using a mind map to map your associations, to get your ideas on actual digital paper, whatever you call it, on a digital canvas. Once you have that, you can use Google or Wikipedia to find some information about the subject, to expand your associations. Once you got that, you can use your online rhyming tools to develop your actual verses. And if you get stuck, you can use synonyms or antonyms to tweak your wording. So the two questions I have to you are, first one, is this cheating is using these online and digital tools cheating and not art and question number two is what other things about lyrics and lyrics writing would you like me to tell you about please leave your answers in the comments below and thank you for watching this video i wish you all a lot of success in using these to enhance your lyrics to streamline your workflow so as much creative success as you need because you're awesome you're like a bird But it's not the eyes It's not the wings I heard It's the brain size You are